Hello, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Gavin Poyer, and today we're listening to Rosalia Live uh, de Plata, I believe. Um, are we crying again? Is that, what's, is, is that, is that what's going to happen? Really? Uh, I don't know. I haven't heard this song, so I don't actually know if it's emotional, but I know that a few people have suggested this song after one of my um, earlier videos, which was super emotional. <sighs> I swear. Okay. You know what? If if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And that's just, that's just it, okay? Here we go. I, um, you know, I was expecting something a little bit more softer, but holy crap, she just exploded. She, she covered so much, like, surface area in just, like, a short amount of time with her voice. Holy crap. Um, also, this is, seems to be, like, a really, like, intimate kind of concert. Like, they're both, you know, sitting down and... Obviously, you know, the audience is just like right there with her. It's it's very interesting. She just, uh, she's very, um, focused. That's what I'm trying to say. She's very focused and in the zone. Um, it's like, um, she's probably like, you know, thinking about the moment that she wrote this song and all of the emotions, you know, she put into the words and how she was going to perform it because i can i can definitely tell that you know she's she's creating like a target off into the distance and kind of putting all the energy into that it's it's so interesting to see that live that's why i love live performances is because you can usually tell when there is an artist up on the stage you know um and i can i can feel the the power in the and the pain in her voice right now. see her body right there that was insane um she she um is holding a lot of the tension in her fingers and you can tell a lot from her fingers um it's it's saying a lot about her her body language and everything like that but like man when she like moved and like jolted her body it just 
she she really has um, a language with her body that she conveys to the audience for sure and I think I think anyone could probably pick up on that it's it's honestly really beautiful um, especially just like what she can do with a few fingers you know it's it's amazing can tell that uh she's she's about to like explode or something because i could see her body shifting and she's kind of like getting ready for what's about to happen next you know she was kind of focusing and getting into her zone and i could definitely tell <sighs> okay here we go produce so many crazy sounds that is insane um and with like a single word you can feel all the emotions in her voice it's it's really revealing of herself i think it's super it's super emotional and and powerful um i'm sure being in the audience probably would have been an an insane experience you know to see this <sighs> okay here we go she get like chills um down your entire body that's that's kind of what just happened to me like that that ending part right there you know the climax of the song was just absolutely beautiful haunting and sad 
all at the same time, and it all mixed together so well, and it makes me feel horrible right now. Um, you know, that's that's the kind of feeling that I have in my stomach, which is a very beautiful thing. Um, and in my belief, I think that's what real art you know, should do. It should make you feel uncomfortable. Um, because I think she just, she just put like a piece of her soul out there for that entire audience. And it was a very <laughs> intimate thing. <laughs> that was a, that was a really cool performance. Um, if, Man, I would love to go to one of her concerts um, because I know she would have some dancing in there and I know that she would have some emotional stuff where I would break down and have a crisis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was really great. Thank you for suggesting that to me. Um, I'm really glad. I'm really glad that I saw that. <sighs> okay. That's it. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. Bye.